Warmest greetings to our fellow Catholics. We are so happy to welcome you back to our channel, wishing you a blessed day in Christ. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. The message presented here is an urgent call for spiritual preparedness in light of an impending period of intense darkness based on prophecies from the Virgin Mary. This time of darkness is described as both literal and symbolic, representing spiritual and physical trials that will test humanity's faith. As these prophetic warnings suggest, a three-day global blackout will obscure the sun and stars, indicating a spiritual battle between good and evil on a worldwide scale. It is essential to take this call seriously and prepare accordingly to navigate the approaching tribulation. The Virgin Mary's prophecies detail a period known as the three days of darkness, during which the world will be covered in deep darkness and the light of the sun and stars will be entirely absent. This darkness is not just a physical phenomenon. It is a manifestation of a spiritual conflict that will challenge people's faith and resolve. It symbolizes the battle between good and evil that is unfolding on a global scale, where each soul will be tested. During this time, spiritual trials will reach their peak, and only those who are spiritually prepared and steadfast in their faith will be able to withstand the challenges. The warnings urge everyone to act now, as the time for preparation is running out. The faithful are called to fortify themselves spiritually, ensuring that their hearts are anchored in the divine, as this will be their refuge amid the trials. To face the coming darkness, the Virgin Mary emphasizes the need for spiritual preparation and protection. Individuals are advised to engage in practices that will shield them from spiritual harm. Central to this preparation is prayer with particular emphasis on reciting the rosary, which serves as a powerful tool for spiritual defense. The rosary connects the hearts of the faithful directly to the Virgin Mary and Jesus, acting as a spiritual barrier against despair and evil forces. Confession and reconciliation with God are also encouraged, as they help to purify the soul and bring peace of mind. By confessing their sins and seeking forgiveness, Individuals strengthen their spiritual foundation, which is essential to face the coming trials. In addition to these practices, it is recommended to have blessed candles, holy water, crucifixes, and other sacramentals readily available. These items are not merely symbolic, but serve as spiritual defenses against the darkness and the forces that may try to penetrate the sanctity of one's home. The blessed candles, in particular, are said to be the only source of light during the three days of darkness, representing the presence of God amid the shadow. One of the greatest challenges during the period of darkness will be overcoming fear and resisting the temptation to give in to despair. As the Virgin Mary warns, fear and doubt will attempt to infiltrate the hearts and minds of people, weakening their spiritual defenses. Therefore, Maintaining strong faith is crucial, as it serves as a shield that protects against these spiritual attacks. The faithful are encouraged to stay indoors, keep their doors and windows closed, and avoid any distractions that may draw their focus away from prayer and spiritual fortification. The darkness will not only be physical, but also represent spiritual dangers that seek to lead souls astray. The Virgin Mary's messages stress the importance of remaining vigilant and steadfast, finding strength in prayer, and trusting in God's protection. In this spiritual battle, the Virgin Mary emphasizes the need to call upon heavenly allies for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, known as the Great Warrior of God, is particularly significant in this context. As the leader of the celestial armies, St. Michael stands as a powerful defender of the faithful against the forces of evil. The Virgin Mary encourages individuals to invoke his protection, asking him to shield their families and homes from spiritual harm. 
Additionally, each person has a guardian angel assigned by God to guide, protect, and watch over them. These angels serve as divine companions who can provide comfort and strength during times of fear and uncertainty. The Virgin Mary advises invoking one's guardian angel often, especially during the days of darkness, to receive their guidance and protection. By calling upon St. Michael and the guardian angels, the faithful are reminded that they are not alone in their struggles. The divine is always present to help them. The period of darkness is not meant to instill fear, but to serve as a time of purification. The trials during these three days are an opportunity for spiritual renewal, allowing individuals to cleanse their hearts of impurities and return to divine values. The darkness is a test, challenging each person's faith and resilience. Those who persevere with courage and devotion will spiritual preparation is the unity of families and communities in prayer. The Virgin Mary stresses that the power of communal prayer is significant, even if individuals are separated physically. Families are encouraged to pray together, fostering an atmosphere of spiritual solidarity that will help them withstand the trials ahead. Group prayer, particularly reciting the rosary as a family, is seen as a potent force against the spiritual dangers that will be present during the three days of darkness. This communal prayer creates a spiritual bond that serves as a shield, reinforcing the protection of the faithful. Even if prayers are said in separate homes, the unity in faith creates a network of spiritual support that extends beyond physical boundaries. After the three days of darkness, the Virgin Mary promises a period of renewal and peace. The world will undergo a transformation, emerging from the darkness with a new spiritual clarity. Those who have remained faithful and endured the trials will experience a profound spiritual rebirth where their connection to God is stronger than ever. The darkness, though intense, is temporary and the light that follows will shine brighter than before. The faithful are assured that after this period of tribulation, a time of grace and divine presence will bless the world. This renewal is not merely a return to normalcy, but a deep spiritual awakening that will change how people live and perceive their relationship with God. The Virgin Mary's messages conclude with a call to action urging individuals to take immediate steps toward conversion and spiritual renewal. The faithful are called to purify their hearts, repent for their sins, and strengthen their relationship with God. This period of preparation is an opportunity to make meaningful changes in one's life, embracing a path of holiness and rejecting anything that separates them from divine grace. Prayer, especially the rosary, should be a daily practice, accompanied by acts of kindness and spiritual devotion. The use of sacramentals, such as blessed candles, holy water, and crucifixes, should be integrated into daily life as a means of fortifying the home and soul. Families are encouraged to create a sacred atmosphere within their homes, making them spiritual fortresses during the time of trial. The Virgin Mary emphasizes that the trials ahead are a test of spiritual strength and that perseverance will be rewarded. Those who remain steadfast in their faith, commit to prayer and embrace acts of repentance will find refuge and protection during the darkness. These days are not only a time of testing, but also an opportunity for spiritual growth and purification, leading to a stronger, more resilient faith. Each act of faith, each prayer, and every moment spent in spiritual reflection strengthens the soul's defenses against the darkness. By embracing this challenge, individuals affirm their trust in God's protection and prepare themselves for a spiritual transformation. The faithful are called to respond to the Virgin Mary's message with humility, courage, and a commitment to live according to God's will. The message conveyed by the Virgin Mary is ultimately one of hope and assurance. Although the coming darkness will be a time of great testing, it is not the end but rather 
a turning point that leads to renewal. The promise of light and spiritual rebirth after the darkness serves as a reminder that God's love and protection are always present. Those who prepare spiritually, fortify their homes with sacramentals, and commit to prayer will find peace and refuge amid the trials. The darkness will pass, and the light that follows will herald a time of renewed grace, bringing about a profound transformation in the world and the hearts of the faithful. The Virgin Mary's guidance serves as a beacon, leading the way through the trials and into the promise of divine renewal. Thank you for being part of this journey. Your presence and engagement make this exploration meaningful and impactful. Until next time, may you find inspiration and hope in the shared stories of our human experience.